Next, we have uh, something brought up to us actually by a fellow <laughs> cabin crew. And uh, I think this is going to be uh, <laughs> something that may, a lot of you may be familiar with, yeah. and that is a topic of this. Yeah. Wait, wait, this is a very um, sensitive issue for East Malaysians. <laughs> <laughs> it, yeah, especially for Sabah and Sarawak kids. I understand, I understand yeah. this issue may be sensitive yes. to be brought up, but we just want to create awareness, not just for Sabah and Sarawak, but, but for West Malaysians as well. No, now West Malaysians got a different one. West Malaysians got butter cake. Oh yes, ah, yeah, yeah. That's so that's the okay. trade lah. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah right. <laughs> so there's the hint of what we're about to talk about, and that is uh, can we can we mention brands? Uh? Well, okay, everybody knows that name. Yeah, <laughs> I'm just gonna mention it. Sorry. If cannot, they will beat it out. <laughs> the G brand. Yeah, the G brand. <laughs> certain brand of um, G brand lah. G brand. Yeah, yeah. A certain a certain brand which is starts with the G. Brand G. Of, uh, <laughs> Uh, con- they're not confectionaries. Are they confectionaries? Mm, big, big goods. Yeah, they're, they're yeah. talking about bread, buns, yeah. buns, um, muffins, yeah. mm. butterscotch bun. Wow, butterscotch bun. <laughs> mm. The butterscotch bread is the one. Some that of those on this yeah, podcast. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, this particular brand is something that uh, has products that we don't have. Uh, in Sabah and Sarawak in terms of uh, uh, what do you call it import right I mean or manufacturing we don't have yeah they don't have it here I think they're supposed to uh, they, they, you can find it in supermarket sometimes yeah. but it's expensive but it's likely brought, yeah. brought, brought, uh, brought in the way that we're about to talk about la. yeah <laughs> so those flying to and from sorry from uh, KL and into Sabah and Sarawak Johor so, uh, yes, from yes, Johor, Johor so. yes. from Johor into Johor from no, from uh, anywhere from, from West Malaysia. Malaysia. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. anywhere from West Malaysia. West Malaysia, you might you might have seen this uh, somebody coming into the cabin with a huge, huge plastic bag, plastic <laughs> bag of uh, G brand. We're gonna call G it. brand. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then you'll see the cabin crew like str- struggling to yeah. pack it into mm. the the overhead uh, cabin. Yeah. Uh, sorry, overhead. Uh, yeah, overhead compartments yeah. and. And uh, I have to, I have to admit that even during my days in airlines, this has caused disruptions. Right? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Yes. Like delay. Yeah. yeah. Because of this. We've had delays. For sure. <laughs> just because you have brought uh, passengers have brought. Uh, it's not. It's not just the amount. It's mostly because the space that is taking up. Space. Yeah. Yeah. We're taking up the space of Be- because other the issue was the the shop itself was, that sell that bread is actually inside the de- the departure hall. Correct. So passengers right. all in already. They, Correct. Uh, bring their hand luggage. Mm. They already check in their, their <laughs> check-in bag and bring one hand luggage with yes. two plus, big plastic yeah. bag of yeah. the, the G. Correct. Your <laughs> yeah, cabin allowance two. is one piece. Yes. Uh, now you bring two. Have, yeah, mm. Certain airlines have uh, one so. one large piece, one smaller piece, but mm. usually within ten or eleven or yeah. seven one piece, kilos. Seven yeah. kgs, right? Two seven two seven kgs is a lot of that brand G thing. Right? Correct. Yeah. Correct. 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 So they're bringing two, three pieces of it. So that's the problem. It not, might not even be the weight. The problem is the space. Space, yeah. And the reason why there is delays is because uh, we have passengers who bring this in and it takes occupies space pieces. from the overhead compartments. And you have passengers who are coming in with maybe just one bag or also mm. passengers like them. <laughs> and we have to end up um, we we have to end up downloading. We don't call it upload. We do downloading this 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 luggage like, down into the the cargo okay. compartment, and that takes time because. Mm. Yep. The ground handlers need to need to tag them. Mm. Yeah, need and then to, to make sure there's no power bank, or right. no, no, mm. no dangerous stuff that mm. can uh, jeopardize the safety of the flight. Correct. And then uh, sometimes the bag is already inside the cargo. Then only the passenger raise their hand. I think my yeah, yeah. Uh, power bank, power yeah. bank is inside <laughs> my bag. That that is now inside the cargo. So uh. as as the as a crew, we cannot depart with that. Yeah. So we have to delay the departure, we have to call up the RAM staff, yeah. look for the bags and then take out the power bank from the bags. Yeah. Mm. Then only we can close back the cargo and compartment and depart. So yeah. that caused all the delay. Mm. Yeah. So yeah, that's not just uh, talking about that particular brand of bread, but also when passengers also yeah, mis- mis- not misplaced, forget that they put, mm. uh, they put uh, risk items. Yeah. We call it, some of them are dangerous goods, some of them are risk items, put them into the... Uh, Cargo, cargo not supposed to, especially mm. power banks, um, yeah. battery laptops, right? Battery laptops, mm. yeah, sorry, laptop batteries, mm. and even your phone actually not 
I think you're not allowed to, right? Because, because it's it with the battery, right? Anything yeah. with the battery is... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, remember that. Just declare whatever you have. Don't yeah. worry. You're allowed to bring it to the cabin, even your vape, just don't smoke mm. it. <laughs> yeah. Just don't smoke it in the cabin. Wow, I've got like a whole lot of stories about that. Yeah, okay. I have a story with him. <laughs> was oh, that my outflight? That was an outflight. Oh, I steal my coffee. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. yeah wow. not just, the, uh, the warning sound, right? The, yeah, oh, right. The fire alarm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so, a story for another day. Yeah. Yeah. If you want to know about it, you can oh, uh, put it in the comments. Oh, actually, very interesting topic. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 You have to educate these people. Yeah. 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 That'll be... So, yeah. Yeah, let us know in the comments, you know, if you want to know, yeah. like, want to about smoking, about vaping, the and stories. Why. What I think this, this topic is why. very interesting. Why yeah. you cannot smoke in the aeroplane Correct. while there is a ashtray and also the... Yes, yes. Smokes, yeah, uh, why Why was there an ashtray in the in the aircraft? Because I I know this also. One of the passengers was caught uh, vaping in the toilet. I mean, vaping or smoking? Smoking. Mm. So, uh, they fight back. They ask, kalau tak boleh merokok, kenapa ada ashtray? Kalau tak boleh mm. merokok, kenapa there is a smoking sign? Uh, mm. So, yeah, this is actually a very lengthy discussion yeah. where we will the cover problem this. problem actually this is when the Royalists can find reason lah yeah, of your gado. Yes. Uh, yeah. But our, but our is, uh, strongest uh, reason <laughs> is because under the nation's civil aviation rules, it is banned. Yeah, memang cannot. Memang even cannot. even vape so it's not allowed. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. But anyways, that's another topic. Yeah, that's digress. Yeah. Yeah. So Andy. back to brand G. Brand G. <laughs> so, You're not finished yet. <laughs> uh, yeah. We understand you want to buy you want to buy a lot of them yeah. mm. to your friends and family, yeah. or even you are the guy supplying to the yeah. shops that <laughs> for triple the price. Yeah. If you supply, let us know lah. So yeah, you know, <laughs> we can buy from you. I can supply. So <laughs> yeah, I go back every week. <laughs> no, but the thing is, right? Like, yeah. I think. You just need to be aware. Like if you're carrying that amount of um, brand G or brand whatever, or oh, or just brand extra luggage. M, yeah, yeah. <laughs> or yeah. you know, right. just be cage. considerate. Like, yeah. <laughs> so okay. it, I think you have to know that if you're gonna put it, if you're gonna bring it um, in the cabin, where are you gonna put it? Mm. See a lot of, uh, most of the time they'll put it on top, right, in the yeah. overhead bin. So you take up a lot of space, other people's um, space, you know, to put their bags. Yeah. Another option, if you really want to, if you can salute it. Under the under seat in front seat. of you. Yeah. yeah. A lot of people actually don't put uh, they, because, because it's food. they want comfort, right? No, yeah. because it uh, is food, food yes. And food then you put the kaki and it's not good. Then put your bag. Uh, yeah, then put your bag uh, down there as an alternative. Yes. Uh, you know, there there are there are options lah, but whether you want or not. You but know. don't they breads like when they mash so many together, don't they get like squished up and such? Because it's kind of got air and then you go yeah. up and then But the taste is the same, so they don't care. Huh? The taste is still the same, correct. That's why. That's the thing. But actually I got a really a uh, fantastic idea lah how mm. to resolve this problem mm. okay, yeah because uh, this one you know because yeah. when we had to wait for the we are delayed because of all these mm. uh, problems can so we are waiting for them to sort it out at the back of the cabin mm. so I was thinking lah together with my co-pilot I said you know the airline can actually solve this problem and make money mm. to sell on board no need no. you just um, okay you have this on the on your whatever airline app. I cannot say which airline. Oh. And then <laughs> you can just like pre book meal, but you don't have it on board. You will yeah, receive it you. when you arrive at the destination, wherever uh, you arrive. Let's say you're coming from here to Beijing. Yeah, yeah, so hey. you know, yeah, uh, you know, who, airline you know, bosses. Uh, airline bosses, yeah, mm. especially the one I used to work with for. I'm not using Contact me. <laughs> Got this brilliant idea. Okay. So they they can pack it all up, put it in the cargo hole. When mm. they arrive, yeah, it's fresh. at the gate or something, you know, okay, uh, this is yours, this is yours, this is yours. Not mushed up. So, you know, mm. like, yeah. But they have to pay extra for that. I think that's the goal, bro. Uh, that's the price to pay for everything. That was the goal because... But the way they did, they did it now, they don't have to pay no, anything. No, so what, as an airline, what you can do, you put a restriction, Prohibited. you have to enforce the rule. Prohibited. For brand G products, uh, you need to buy from our app. <laughs> Come on, man. I know you guys are good at this. Yeah. So, yeah, because seriously, that's what, how to resolve these problems mm. and how not to take up space in the yeah. cabin, right? Can make me or else just be considerate. If you already think ahead that you're going, going to buy this, uh, the, this G's. <laughs> Why is it so difficult? You, you, you plan already wanted to, to buy this, right? So just bring one empty bag and serve as your hand hand, hand carry. So yep. the rest of the bag, you can straight away put it inside the cargo. Check in. Yep. Is this right? Correct. So, yeah. Yeah, that, that basically applies to any piece of hand, hand luggage you yeah. want to bring. Don't bring too much. 
Correct. Yeah, think of the other person. They might. <laughs> I've seen people who have been stopped at the door of the aircraft yeah. because they we need to put the bag into the cargo hold, and then these people <laughs> like the hand care, the hand hand luggage isn't secured. Mm. You know, they have. Uh, they might have things like that. They would, they need to have on the hand. Like, yeah, like like the laptop battery and stuff. Mm. Then they have to carry in in. in but the this is the thing that I don't understand. Mm. You know, mm. if whenever I go travel, mm. I always try to travel light. Mm. So meaning I try to bring as less as possible hand carry uh, to to be, to to uh, to bring together with me. The rest more I check in. It's just that I not travel light. Bring. You know, yeah. depends. Uh, it's me lah. Work travel for two days. Yeah. Mm. And I remember. I think uh, there are. Passengers were quite savvy. I mean, at the least they thought they are. They are like coming from Cebu to Kuching, and then they have a connecting flight to mm. or, sorry, or they have it the other way around KL to Kuching, then they have a connecting flight to Cebu. So they don't have checked luggage because they want to make the connecting flight quick. They mm. just have the hand 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 carry. And <laughs> I think this this passenger that I seen, uh, they actually missed the connecting flight because I understand certain airlines they don't have that. Um, That connection. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. You got that that check through thing. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. So understandably, they want to bring everything in one bag so yep. they can just straight away go to their next flight. But uh, it's it's not their fault really. The the fault really lies with people who carry too much. Huh. If well, you, everybody carries one, no matter what the, the weight is, should be okay. Actually, uh, this this problem with um, um, oversized cabin uh, luggage mm. is a problem that. Has mm. never really been solved. Yeah. yeah. All airlines that mm. I used to work with previously have actually, at one point, they were like, okay, they enforce like crazy. Mm. Like they really enforce like, um, they were very strict with the check-in staff. They were very strict with the gate staff at the gate. And um, I don't know why. After a while, they just like suddenly relax the thing again. Yeah. Mm. Both both the airlines that I work with had this face. I they see. were like, wow, oh, very strict. Like, and the Last airline I work with, mm. okay, actually made quite a bit of money from that because mm. yeah, you know, everybody they have to charge everybody to bring yeah, the bags yeah, down. Yeah. But that airline now also actually allow you to bring your bags in on board, yeah, uh, by paying. <laughs> so I, I'm not sure really what is the end game here. Do you want to solve uh, oversized luggage or the amount of luggage you bring in? Mm. Because for a low cost carrier, I'm trying to generalize here. You when you pack up an aircraft, right? Let's say seventy seven or three twenty with like hundred eighty, hundred ninety, two hundred people. Mm. Obviously, you, you once you pass one sixty, one seventy, it's very hard to actually right. find space for your bags. Yeah, that's a fact. And you'll notice every time there's more than hundred sixty bags, mm. things will start slowing down because people start looking for space, space where to put their yeah. bags and all that. Yeah. So I don't know. This problem seems to be an issue which the airlines. I don't know for whatever reason cannot there, solve. There's another problem. I saw a lot uh, when the passenger have a seat at the back. They mm. they walk in. They put their bag in front, and yeah. then they walk all the way back. You yeah. see, yeah. if this thing happen, it's actually this is, this is very selfish because what? Okay, now you put your bag the car depan, and then mm. you walk all the way to the back. Mm. So what happened to the passenger who sit in in front? They yeah, to, right? they have to go to the back and put Correct. their bags there and walk again to the front. So now it create disruption for boarding. You know, it yes. take more time for boarding. Yes. Look for space. So come on, guys. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Be cool. Yeah. Be cool. Yeah. So that is yeah. I understand also the fact that <clears throat> even if everybody, like I said, everybody brings one bag. One thing I just remembered is the compartments uh, are not all empty. Yeah. Because you have yep. your crew luggage. Correct. Some you have like uh, in-flight systems like for yes. Uh, so crew luggage, yeah. the IFEs, uh, safety equipment systems yeah. inside, or even a life raft. Correct. Yeah. Right. Because so okay. Yeah. Sometimes they, uh, some some I think some aircraft even have the oxygen tank. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, that's why all these things. Uh, there, there's um, there's with ways to resolve it lah. Mm. Also on the airline side, like for crew bags, there are other places where you can put them. Mm. Right. That's one example lah. I'm not asking. That likes to put the crew bag somewhere else, but you know there are ways to mitigate this. Right. But ultimately, it has to be the uh, passengers' cabin baggage. The enforcement has to be there, lah. Yeah. For example, like what uh, you brought up is one mm. about um, when passenger put their bags in front, right? in, in front when they're sitting behind. Yeah. Mm. The the without asking cabin crew to do extra work, <laughs> they can 
monitor or pantau the situation yeah. that if somebody do, does that then maybe just ask them politely to can you bring it your back to the back mm-hmm. something like that lah you know um, this all works when you have all this like everybody actually puts in an effort to correct it's not correct. I can imagine lah it's, it, after doing six sectors for example and then mm. you got to do this kind of thing it's just tiring yeah. but yeah if you want to you know make it smooth like the boarding process you have no choice but to go through this yep. that's, why, that's why airline mm. also they, they limit your uh, hand luggage size uh, weight it's mm. because of all this yes yeah. correct yeah. yeah yeah and it takes as we said it's not a CRM it's yeah that's, right. that's why every flight is different <laughs> it's not just everything well, once we take off uh, talk, not just the weather not just everything we see in there even yep. before we even get pushed back we still at the gate Every flight is different. Yeah. For yeah. me, don't be selfish because we are sharing the same right. transport. You yes. know, we are sharing the same transport. Anything happen to that transport, it's happened to you, it's happened to me as well. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. don't be selfish. Yeah. Yeah. Especially this month, uh, holy month of Ramadan, hmm. I know you guys want to bring extra G bread. <laughs> <laughs> G bread back to your family. And also the extra. cake lapis, yeah. you know, ah, the and from cheesecake. Yeah. Yeah. From M, M brand. M, M brand. Yeah. M brand or T brand. brand. Yeah. Yeah. You want to bring back, you know, to yeah. KL, yeah. from K to from from <laughs> Kuching to to KL, to West Malaysia, you know, bring it back. What if, was it? If if any cake lapis company want want us to promote your, yeah, you want by to, all means, you want us, <laughs> please yeah. you can sponsor us. <laughs> or G brand, or G brand, you can sponsor. You can give us, us a bit of a. Uh, <laughs> uh, maybe after this, uh, the G brand punya seal drop good. I don't yeah. know. Eh. I don't know lah. Uh, That will never drop. Never drop. Yeah, yeah. East Malaysia yeah. will always support you. Don't worry. Worst to worst, they will just open. They will, they will finally huh? open the factory here, which was supposed to open. Two yeah, years ago. yeah. They've, oh, they've they've said that like 10 years mm. ago. So yeah, okay. <laughs> still we think. Soon, soon. soon. <laughs>